even on the first day when videos were coming out, there were some people that were playing it for score uh, and the game clicked with them. There were other people though who didn't care as much about that and were using the game as a vehicle to make cool YouTube videos. You know, they were putting on suits, they were putting on costumes, the property video. He was doing color selections with his green screen, with his hair and with his tattoo. My favorite thing about what I've seen is the number of different ways that people have like brought their own personality and expression to what they've put online. Everyone who plays the game has, has the ability to kind of put their own spin on it. Uh, right now I'm working on a combination of uh, achievements for, for people to hunt for and also some modifiers, whether it's uh, from a standpoint of accessibility, if they have like limited mobility and whatnot, or if they think that uh, Dead Eye just isn't hard enough, or they really, really, really want the rhythm game elements. We just want to be able to kind of let those people stretch the gameplay experience uh, to, to their own to their own liking. I'm working on the new song. Uh, it's called High Priestess. Uh, the inspiration for High Priestess is Old Boy. And there's a scene in Old Boy where the hero is trying to get through a hallway, and there's probably like 80 or 100 guys, and he's just just hitting them all with hammers and just like trying to get through and it's basically what the, the main part of this level is. Puts the name in the pistol whip for sure. The exciting thing going forward is that we're going to be broadening the experience, right? The more we add in terms of scenes and modifiers and, and difficulties, the more players are going to be kind of, they're going to be able to play in an a la carte kind of way. We've given the players some flexibility to be able to sort of play the game how they want.